Now, have you, any of you wondered or, or have a clue as to why Adam begins with Hill? Remember I told you to think about that? Anybody have an idea? Yeah, a lack of faith. Couldn't see it. Let me show you something. God showed me this in a blue I'm going to take it over here and, and show you why. This is, this is huge. Well, this tree here, you guys, this is a classic illustration of, um, I, don't think, I don't know if you remember, but in school they told you one thing was right. The only live part of a tree is a cambium layer below the bark. That's that green. The whole wood, wood part of the tree is totally dead. It's just there for support. I want you to notice this tree, it has absolutely no trunk. It has no trunk. There it is. And I want you to notice how lush and green and healthy it is. And the trunk is totally rotten, non-existent. When my kids are growing up, this tree was standing high enough. It was up way up. One of the neighbor kids fell out and broke her arm. It was way up in the air. I love the shape because it's growing so cool. I'm gonna get over here and do a, dem a pretty demonstration for a lady. So I wanna open it up again because it's too full. But this tree is completely rotten, has no trunk, and it looks like this. Because there's still cambium <laughs> underneath that little bit of bark. And it supports the whole tree. It's so, <laughs> so amazing. I love it. Now, I live in a place that you can't grow figs. This is 600 feet above sea level. Figs grow in California, Mediterranean climates. And I want you to notice all the figs on my tree here that won't grow here. <coughs> and you know why this tree is here? Because these fir trees behind here, this is south facing so I get full sun. You see this fir tree here? This protects it in the winter and it doesn't freeze out. You see this one over here? I had to cut back so severely. This one just this far over, even against the shed, had major winter kill. We're talking 10 feet difference. It's just so huge, these little microclimates that if you're waking up, God shows you, like you can do this, you know? I just, I just love it. But this, this tree was a stick in the ground three years ago. Look at all the fruit on it. Now, Paul, this is the blueberry bush that we did in a printing video, right? Yeah. See how nice it's coming back? With all those and blueberries all on it? On. That's what I'm looking at. Cover. Oh boy, there's some blueberries, eh? Now, I want all you men to come up here. Everybody, all, everybody come up here. Put a few berries on it. There's a couple. Because <laughs> you see, men operate from the natural mind. They want to figure it out. Where men, women more intuitively go to the spirit. That thing called women's intuition is a, is a spirit process. It's a part of the spirit. But men, they figure it out. They go here. So all you men come out here. Now if I'm walking down with a row with you, and I come across this space with all these dead dry wood chips, and I say, oh, look at that. That'd be a great place to plant a garden. You look at me like I'm stupid. What? You can't plant a garden. That stuff, you got to have dirt. Are you track with me? Everybody, everybody on board here? Mm -hmm. You can't plant a garden in these dead dry sticks. You have to have dirt. But I want you to observe these plants that are growing in these dead dry sticks. Look at the color of the foliage. Look at the green in this material that science tells you ties up nicely to make your soil acidic. Look at the berries on that blueberry over there. Look at the, the beautiful color of the leaves of that blueberry. Look at this stuff. So obviously they're going well. Here's what God showed me, this was huge. When God created Adam and Eve, he created them just like himself. The Bible describes God as this. God is a spirit. And those that worship Him must worship in spirit and truth. Adam and Eve were created spirit beings just like God. And that's why they weren't naked. The body was the clothing for the spirit. And they were fully clothed because they were in the spirit. As soon as they sinned and went to the natural mind, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, that's the natural mind, they shifted from the spirit realm to the natural mind. And what was their first response? Well, we're naked. Uh, they hear. We gotta cover ourselves. So that feels. And so when man looks at the covering, this is Adam, looking at the covering from the natural mind, he says, "Well, you can't go in, in that. You have to have dirt." And because he can't believe for what he can't see, he takes the cover off so he can see the dirt. And there's a Tilling does not work. We're losing all the earth's topsoil. It's all blowing and washing away. This clearly does not work. And man keeps doing it because he's operating from the natural mind. And he has to see his dirt. He can't believe what he can't see. Oh, I'm telling you, man, it's huge.